Hello and welcome to the first video about MATLAB basics. Today we're gonna study how MATLAB operates. We're gonna do some basic calculus and we're gonna use vectors and matrices. When you first start MATLAB, you will see this kind of a view. We have the command window, the current folder and the workspace. You can define variables in MATLAB using basic notation. If we write a is 2, we will see that a is stored into the memory as 2. In the workspace, you can see all of the saved variables, their names and their values. Normally, MATLAB will print out everything you type. If you use a semicolon at the end of the line, you will not get a print out. However, you will still notice that the variable is, is stored in the memory. Let us define a vector called C. C has three elements, one, two, and three. If defined this way, C is defined as a row vector. We can also define C without the commas using spacebar instead. By pressing the up arrow key, we can access our earlier inputs. We can transpose C into a column vector using the hyphen. We can also define a column vector by using a semicolon between the elements. Next, we will define a matrix. Let's define a matrix A that is a 3 by 3 matrix. You can clear the command window history using CLC. However, this will not erase your variables that you have already created. If you want to clear them, you can write clear all or you can write clear variable A, for example. We will not do that now. You can also do basic calculus using MATLAB. You can calculate A plus B, A minus B, A times B, a over b and a to the power of b. You can also add matrices together. You can multiply matrices with each other. And by using the dot notation, you can do the multiplication by elements. This would multiply each element by the corresponding element from the other matrix. The same can be done with division. You can create new matrices by using the earlier notation for creating matrices. So here you can create a matrix from two matrix A's. You could also do this with the semicolon to add them on top of each other. But you can create matrix of zeros by giving the first the row and then the number of columns. So this would be a four by nine matrix of zeros. And you can do the same with ones. And you can create an uh, identity matrix with the command i. And here you can have a 5x5 five five matrix, for example. You, you can define the size of a matrix by using the function size. Let's try the size of A and the size of C. So size output is the number of rows and then the number of columns in a 1x2 vector. It's useful to understand how indexing works in MATLAB, so let's look at matrix A. And if you want to choose the fifth element of matrix A, you can use notation such as this. Or if you want to find the element from the second row and the third column, you would just use A2, 3. You can get additional help with your commands. If you're unsure about syntax, you can use help and then your command, let's say size for example, this prints out you, for you a documentation. Uh, you can look at the basic calculus by using help++. This will give you a list of 
basic operators. And you can also view the MATLAB documentation, which contains all of the same things by using doc and then size, for example, size, which will open a help window. And this is hyperlinked, so you have examples and so on. Okay, that's the basics to MATLAB. Thank you.